flooding is already an issue for Trinidad and Tobago, especially during wet and hurricane seasons. A recent study finds that these islands are already experiencing the effects of climate change. With a recent increase in intense short-duration rainfall, changing rainfall patterns are intensifying our wet season flooding. Recent record rainfall during the 2022 wet season had resulted in several weeks of riverine flooding in October and November. We asked Dr. Ronald Rupnarayan, a disaster resilience expert at the University of the West Indies, how much of a role has recent climate change played in this flooding? It's, it's looking at it in a silo. Climate change is maybe one of the contributing factors, but there are many other factors that lead to a flood. So floods have causation factors. You think about rainfall as one, obviously, but it's also the nature of the land. It's also the nature of the drainage. It's also <clears throat> uh, the slope of the land, you know, the proximity to rivers, etc. Dr. Rupnarayan takes issue when people blame what we are currently facing to climate change without accepting personal responsibility for the consequences. All those factors, apart from the rainfall and the climatic parameters, are affected by who? It's affected by us. I feel that that undermines our ability to address those problems. And I personally think there are many solutions that we could start to implement, even at a community level, that can lead to better outcomes. So to lessen flood disasters, the experts agree we require changing attitudes during a changing climate. I'm in Wallace, keeping it green for TDT News. I love the look and smell of litter. From this huge pile, I can see that many people also find it attractive. Yes, Charlie. Litter is indeed attractive. It attracts roaches, flies and mosquitoes, and rats. My pets. Don't be a litter bug, Charlie. Do the right thing. Don't litter.